This is section 9-8, and we're going to take a look at tangent graphs. So we're going to graph a tangent function. So this is the parent graph for tangent. I know I've already introduced it for sine and cosine, and now we are at tangent. It looks kind of funky. I know, we're kind of looking at this like, wow, what the heck? What's happening here? Now, the process of how it's created is the same. We go through the unit circle and we do values of sine and cosine and we go all the way through. So this uh, tangent of this value, sine over cosine, that gives us zero. Well, then if I do sine over cosine here, one over zero, that's undefined, that implies an asymptote. And then here, zero over negative one, dot, and then here, negative 1 over 0, asymptote, and then here, 0 over 1, there's a dot. And you can do negative rotation too, so negative pi halves is also undefined. Negative pi is going to be 0. Negative 3 pi halves is going to be undefined, and then negative 2 pi is back to a dot. So then, we draw this image there. Now you can verify those values as well because if you did tangent of 30 degrees, sine over cosine, root 3 over 3, 1, and then root 3, you would see that it's going to be increasing. And then if you did you know, negative rotation here, you'd see that it's decreasing. So the important values that I just want you to memorize for now, for one cycle, is going to be 0, pi halves, and then pi. And like I said, we're going to invite someone to help us, and his name is Dad. Okay? So dot, asymptote, dot, D-A-D, -D, Dad, dot, asymptote, dot. Now, if we could remember Dad, who's going to help us graph this, it's going to be much easier. So let's look at a graph here. It says graph f of theta equals tangent of 2 theta. Now, the other thing I want to mention is the period. If you notice the equation, it is no longer 2 pi over b. And the reason is tangent repeats itself after, instead of a 2 pi distance, it starts repeating itself after pi. Notice dot, I travel a distance of pi, bam, there's a dot again. Travel a distance of pi, bam, there's a dot again. So for us to calculate the period of tangent, it's going to be pi over b. So here is just a regular tangent function. Now with the 2 theta, pi over 2, pi over b, my b is 2, so pi over 2. Notice that there's twice as many cycles there, dot, asymptote dot. So that distance is now pi halves. Now, if the natural period is pi, that means when we put our equation between 0 and the original period, for tangents, instead of it being 0 and 2 pi, it's just going to be 0 and pi. So for this one here, as a sketch of full rotation of tangent, so I know it's tangent, so in my brain, I need to be thinking dot asymptote dot. And there's full ro rotation. Now, yep, you're right. It continues on this way, asymptote dot. You know, it'll keep going on forever. But for now, that bluish area, that's kind of like the image that we need to remember if it's just going to be one rotation. So that's my parent graph tangent there is no amplitude now the vertical stretching does affect it and it's kinda hard to map that out with the sketch don't be tricked don't be fooled if I ask you what's the amplitude say it doesn't exist it's not there so we're gonna take these values 2x minus pi force <clears throat> put that between 0 and pi so we're gonna solve for it so I'm gonna add pi force So I get pi force is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 
Now if it's pi, this is 4 pi over 4. So that's going to give me 5 pi over 4. Divide everything by 2. And so that's going to give me pi eighths is less than or equal to x, which is 5 pi eighths. Just in case I have to have some scaling. Now the cool thing about tangent though, you only need three values in the box. And so you're still finding the middle, but you don't have to do five. You just have to do three. So add them together. So that's going to give me six pi eights divide by two. That turns into three. Okay, so there we go. Don't need to scale it. It's scaled. So now looking back at the graph, my center line, everything's shifted down two. So now when I start plotting this, you have to remember someone's going to help us graph this, and it is dad dot asymptote dot. So if I'm going to label this, let's see, that's pi eights. See two pi eights, three pi eights, four pi eights, five pi eights. So at pi eights it's dot, at three pi eights it's asymptote, and at five pi eights it's dot, and then I draw my tangent graph. And there's one cycle. Let's look at another one. So I'm going to take the theta over 2, put that between 0 and pi, because it's tangent. The original period is between 0 and pi. Now multiply everything by 2. And so now my value box, 0 and 2 pi. Add them together and divide by 2, you get pi. Dad is going to help us graph this. So now the center line moves up three. And so if I label this, I'll label this uh, zero, this is pi, this is two pi, three pi, etc. So I have dot, and then at pi I have asymptote, and then dot. And so then there's my tangent graph. So what did we learn today? We talked about tangent, how to graph a tangent graph. Remember that the period for a tangent is naturally pi. So we put the values inside the function between 0 and pi and not 2 pi. And then who helps us graph tangent? Dad dot asymptote dot. That's what's going to help us. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.